The Detroit Lions injury designations are out for week 10, and we know what the Texans are going, what's going on with them kind of. Will Nico Collins play or not? I'm not sure what their injury designations are. I have not seen this. I am purposely looking in the camera so my eyes don't wander to the left and I see who's on. I'm also avoiding the chat, which is to my right, because I'm, uh, I'm recording this during a live show on Syndicate Sports Detroit held on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. Make sure you guys check out. I'll make that channel the pinned comment. We just hit 3,600 subscribers over there. But the Detroit Lions, man, we know – uh, have an idea would, would Zadarius Smith play? We saw the the press conference. By the time you're watching this video, we haven't done that video yet. So this is me talking to uh, you guys in the past about the future. But we're going to take a look at that. He wants to play. I don't know if he's on this list or not. It feels like he's trying to be a, a game time decision. But what is going to be the case when it comes to who will play for the Detroit Lions against the Houston Texans? Here is that list. And it's coming from their Twitter account. Detroit Lions injury report is as follows. Taylor Decker is out. I say, oh my God. Wow. I kind of knew he was going to be out, bro. Broderick Martin is out. Jalen Reeves Maven. I knew he was going to be out. If he, I told y'all he wasn't going to play. Emmanuel is not going to play. Wow. This is the deepest list. This though, this is a good sign. This is a good sign. So that means he's going to be a game time decision. Looks like we know he wants to play, but the dude has not had a bye week yet. Malcolm Rodriguez is still out. This will be the third week in a row. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Jared Goff's blind side. I don't know who is going to be over there. And if they are, are they going to be able to keep this guy upright? I mean, we've got Daniil Hunter. We've got... Jonathan Green. No, he's he's now on the Minnesota Vikings. We've got Will Anderson, who may or may not play. Panay Sewell will switch to left tackle. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. I didn't know if they were going to do that because I didn't know if they were going to have him switch. That is a good thing. That's a good thing. So that means that we can put Skip on the right or somebody else on the right. That 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 has to be the case. Thank you guys for reminding me because I forgot that that's his original position. Position that is a good thing. Now, because that that is that's the left side, the blind side of any quarterback. So for uh, a guy like, I think we got one left-handed quarterback, Tua. His right side is his blind side. He that's the side he gets creamed on, right? So, but I forgot about that. Think I was freaking out for a minute. But so the Detroit Lions, what a steal. What, what a smart decision Panay Sewell was over Micah Parsons, a guy that came in, dominated at a position that he wasn't even playing, and you have the kind of the ability to move him to a different spot. Wow, this is the deepest list that we've had. Let me go back to this thing. This is the deepest list that we've had so far. That is six people out. But this is a good thing here. This is why we brought in the linebacker from, because now we're out two special teams aces. And it was tough to see Jalen Reeves maybe out there in coverage. He, Malcolm Rodriguez, he's, he plays much better in coverage, but he's kind of been making his name in his second and third year on special teams. Well, the third year now, he's been kind of filling in um, ever since we lost Derek Barnes. So, Mm, this is tough to see this. I don't know what the Texans one is looking like right now. I'm going to see. Just stay with me. Let me see if if the Texans is up because it would be nice to see them as well. Okay, we'll bring them in and when we do our pregame preview on maybe I'll make a video about that. I want to make a video about that this week, but that there you go, man. The injury designations, we got six people out. The only person questionable is going to be Zadarius Smith. From that, it looks like he's going to play, maybe be on a limited snap count. You know, maybe he'll get a rest later down the road. Um, I could see the Lions playing it very safe with him until we get to, like, Thanksgiving because then we play three games in 11 days. Then we're off for 11 days, 10 to 11 days. So maybe he's like Snacks Harrison 2.0 that he he doesn't get a bye week. I don't know, but we shall see. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, thank you for 
easing my mind because I was freaking out. But then, I, yeah, thank you guys for reminding me that he can go over there. So now we just got to worry about that right side. So we can see a lot of screen passes going in that direction. That's what I would expect to see because Dan Skipper is a great story, but he is not a great tackle. <laughs> but hopefully he reports as eligible because that would be fantastic. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. This channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, and sometimes you might rock with a boring person, but you choose to rock with me. So take care of yourself and each other. Make smart decisions. And as always, go Lions.